The United States built barriers. China found a side door. But what slipped through wasn't quiet. It was a torrent. And now, it's unstoppable. In early 2025, as Washington scrambled to contain the bleeding edge, Alibaba unveiled a 5 nanometer Risk V chip that no blacklist could block. Not a warning of what was coming, a confirmation that it had already arrived. While U.S. officials rushed to plug leaks with sanctions and embargoes, Beijing moved subtly, stepping through an unguarded alley. And now the dam has burst. If America believed dominance in technology could be secured by rules, China just tore up the playbook. The consequences are already in your phone, your data centers, and your future. But here's what almost everyone missed. China didn't boast. There was no grand announcement, no veiled threat, just a silent move, a chip that sanctions couldn't touch, quietly dropped into the global supply stream like a stone into glassy water. No headlines, just ripples, spreading far faster than anyone could contain. And if this trend continues, it won't just be U.S. chip leadership slipping away, it will be global influence over the shape of tomorrow. And the twist? China's weapon was entirely legal. As U.S. lawmakers tightened the screws in 2023, targeting AI accelerators and advanced lithography, China sidestepped the battlefield altogether. Instead of chasing banned tech, Chinese engineers embraced RISCV, an open-source chip architecture outside Western control. According to Nikki Asia, Alibaba's T-Head reached a critical breakthrough by late 2024, designing a 5 nanometer Risk V chip optimized for AI, directly challenging Nvidia's hold. Simultaneously, Xiaoxin, once brushed off as third tier, built Risk V processors powerful enough to run domestic servers, avoiding reliance on x86 or ARM. These shifts pushed China's chip output up 63% year-over-year in 2024, Bloomberg reports. No patent violations, no sanctions breached, just a new playbook, unfolding in plain sight while U.S. regulators stayed fixated on the last war. But Risk v isn't just legal, it's contagious. It's not merely a new blueprint. It's a wrecking ball aimed at the old guarded gates of chip design, created at UC Berkeley in 2010 to democratize processor development, RISCV, lets anyone from students to governments design custom chips royalty-free. In 2024, the Lindley Group found RISC-V had surpassed ARM in new IoT product designs, a seismic shift. Without licensing costs, China could scale RISC-V across AI servers, cities, and devices, bypassing the billions that usually flow into U.S. hands. Its open-source nature also enables agility. Within 18 months, Star5 rolled out three successive RISC-E chip upgrades, a pace traditional ARM vendors struggle to match. Flexibility at China's scale becomes a weapon. Still, skeptics warn the risk v world could fracture without strict standards. Whether that fragmentation slows China's surge is a live and volatile question. But the assumption that sanctions could halt China's rise, that narrative has collapsed. Rather than freeze China's progress, U.S. controls supercharged it. The Wall Street Journal reports that from 2022 to 2025, Beijing pumped over $140 billion into local chip makers while slashing foreign tech imports by 17%. SMIC retooled to fabricate 7 nanometer chips without EUV tools, a feat confirmed by Tech Insights. Meanwhile, Yangtze Memory dodged NANDI restrictions by reworking architectures around legacy nodes. Far from bottling China in, Sanctions triggered a breakneck pivot toward technological independence. As Chris Miller, author of Chip War, noted, in a complex supply chain, sanctions don't stop progress, they just reroute it. The pressure meant to paralyze China instead crystallized its resolve, while the U.S. drifted into a slower, reactive stance.
But Beijing isn't just building for itself, it's exporting the future. Under the radar, China is forging a new axis of tech alliances. By leveraging Risk V's open nature, it's planting seeds for an alternative global ecosystem. In 2024 alone, China inked 65 semiconductor cooperation deals with countries like Brazil, Russia, South Africa, and Indonesia, focused on risk V proliferation, according to the South China Morning Post. Rather than shipping finished chips, it's shipping infrastructure, design templates, fabrication expertise, and low-cost IP. Huawei's Harmony OS, now on over 300 million devices, is being refactored to run on RISC-V, sidestepping U.S. software patents. European heavyweights like Siemens and Bosch are developing RISC-V controllers for industrial systems, Handelsblatt reports hedging against future U.S.-China supply disruptions. This isn't just technological adaptation. It's a quest for sovereignty. Beijing's vision? A world where U.S. sanctions are irrelevant because the supply chains simply don't flow through Washington anymore. But dominance via openness is a tricky game. Can China control an open architecture it doesn't own? Or will its creation outgrow its grasp? Risk V's momentum is accelerating. Contributions to the global Risk V consortium surged 80% in 2024, according to the Linux Foundation, with Chinese engineers behind over half of all new technical proposals. China isn't just adopting the standard, it's steering it, and this is creating a feedback loop. The more nations that adopt Risk V, the harder it becomes to displace, turning a fringe alternative into the backbone of the next digital era. Money is following. Gartner Project's Risk V CPUs will capture 25% of the global market by 2027, up from 6% in 2022. But risks remain. Fragmented standards, uneven security protocols, competing visions from Europe and Japan. The question is whether China can unify this movement or whether its grip will slip before its system solidifies. When China embraced Risk V, it didn't just gain a chip, it gained a diplomatic lever. By early 2025, Reuters confirms, China's Risk V alliances spanned over 40 nations. This isn't theoretical, it's measurable. With 40 countries linked to China's chip framework, the semiconductor map isn't just changing, it's being rewritten. Yet Risk V's open roots bring friction. Rival designs in Japan and Europe could undercut Beijing's lead before it cements. Whether Risk V becomes a Chinese-led standard or just one of many is a high-stakes question for the decade. But while China lays fresh pathways, is America still defending bridges that are already broken? Here lies the core miscalculation. Sanctions and trade blocks were weapons of the last era. In a world run on open platforms and decentralized code, their power is fading. The Wall Street Journal reported that despite tighter restrictions, Chinese chip makers saw a 30% rise in overseas licensing, mostly from countries bypassing U.S.-controlled routes. Chris Miller in Foreign Affairs warned that defensive tools built for hardware dominance falter in a software-first world. Meanwhile, U.S. allies like Germany and South Korea are increasing funding for RISC-V alternatives, preparing for a world where sanctions become liabilities. As Washington doubles down on traditional levers, Beijing is redrawing the contest not by outmuscling the West, but by outmaneuvering it. Whether the U.S. can pivot fast enough is unclear, but time may be its biggest threat. Because while Washington obsesses over seven nanometer barriers, China is charting into new realms. In late 2024, Alibaba's Damo Academy unveiled the first commercially viable neuromorphic RISC-V chip, cutting energy use in AI by 50%, MIT Technology Review reported. Meanwhile, Tsinghua University debuted a quantum-safe RISC-V prototype designed to withstand next-gen cyber attacks years ahead of U.S. equivalents. Financially, China's AI chip market soared 38% in 2024 alone, reaching $18.7 billion, according to Bloomberg Intelligence. 
These aren't signs of catch-up. They're signs of leapfrogging into zones the U.S. hasn't even entered. This isn't just a tech race. It's a battle over the foundations of the next global economy. And beneath the surface, America's footing is already eroding. Control in this new world won't come from owning factories. It will come from setting the rules those factories follow. By mid-2025, RISC-V accounted for 19% of all processor shipments globally, with projections nearing 26% by 2026, according to the Semiconductor Industry Association. And the center of gravity is shifting. The Risky v International Association moved leadership out of U.S. jurisdiction to Switzerland, undermining American leverage. As the world retools around royalty-free, open systems, the traditional weapons of patents and licenses lose their sting. Even if America builds the fastest chips, it may do so for standards it no longer controls. As Harvard's Graham Allison put it, hegemony doesn't die in one war. It bleeds out slowly through a thousand quiet retreats. And if the current trend continues, the next chapter of the tech world may already be writing itself without Washington's pen. China isn't just chasing better chips. It's crafting the operating system for tomorrow's world and rewriting the rules faster than the West can react. But this might only be China's opening gambit. Because what's coming next won't just challenge semiconductors, it could reshape the global financial and digital order itself. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe and check out the next one now on your screen.